This is who I am with Orange. Dead Mouse. I was like that bad kid, but the bad kid that didn't do anything. You know what I mean? So I wasn't a troublemaker. I didn't go start fights and anything. I just kind of slept and was truant. <laughs> so it was really weird. And then, you know, and then I was just kind of the quiet little recluse dude. I wasn't in such a bad position where I was that little nerdy kid everybody picked on kind of thing. It's just like I was invisible. So that was like a really good place for me. Just being quiet and keeping to myself and just scheming things. I was actually put in a, uh, a special class. <laughs> it was for uh, children with attention disorders and just screw ups and <laughs> all that kind of thing. So they put me in that kind of class for uh, grade seven and eight. When I was in normal classes in grade six, it was so slow. I couldn't be bothered to kind of participate and, and, and you know, do well and excel because I, I mean, I was, I was so sure I could, but it was just like no contest kind of thing for me. So it was like just a kick in the face when they put me in this, like, you know, for kids who just really like had genuine problems learning things and paying attention and that kind of stuff. So then it was just, it went from slow to like almost a complete standstill. So it was just like, okay, I understand how this system works. I'm just going to sit here and wait it out because this is just going to drive me crazy. So then I, that's when I just got into music and technology and stuff like that. And I just kind of stuck to that. I could learn things at my own rate. It was really flexible and I like that kind of thing. So I really like homeschooled myself. I've always had a couple of friends, uh, but uh, yeah, they were few and far between. Is I just like people that just are very quiet, you know, and don't say too much. And if they do have something to say, it's it's important, you know, or if it's it's something useful, not like what you ate. I didn't go to clubs or parties or anything like that. I used to go to clubs because uh, in my early high school years, I used to bar back at a nightclub and sneaked my way into the DJ booth somehow during that little working experience and then kind of upgraded myself to light guy all the way up to the point where, you know, I was kind of playing when the DJ was just too wasted to do anything or he would show up late and I would fill in for him kind of thing. I sucked, but it was it was fun. I was told much later in life that I was named after uh, Billy Joel. It's just bizarre. Like, why would you do that? And she's not even like an avid Billy Joel fan anymore, or I, I'm starting to doubt she even ever was. So it's like, it's like, I don't see any Billy Joel records or memorabilia or tickets or autographs or anything. So why? You know what I mean? So, and then it was just kind of like the running joke. But she says I was named Joel after Billy Joel, even if it's true or not. My Dad bought a CD player and then he went with this Columbia house deal where they would give you like, I don't know, 80 CDs for a penny kind of scam. And so he would get the first 10 and then every week we would get another CD and it was just like random selection stuff. It's not like anything he would order or like any specific thing. You just get these free CDs all the time. So every new CD that came in was so different from the other one. It was just really funny. And, uh, you know, I just listened to it on loop. It went from like, you know, U2's album War to Steely Dan's classics. And uh, so I was, I was into that. And that was my kind of take on music. I have a very hard time distinguishing between what inspires me to do something or what influences me uh, versus what I'm copying. There's a real line there for me, you know what I mean? And and for some, it's really blurry because, yeah, people say, well, it's inspired by, it's it's structured around. So I, I don't like to do that really. So I just, I tinker around and maybe there are some ideas out there that I will. And that's where remixing, you know, is all about. But when you're trying to be original and, and do something different, you could do anything and then say, anyone can listen to it and say, oh, well, this sounds a lot like something. And then you can just say, yeah, well, I was inspired by that. You know what I mean? And it really wouldn't make a difference. A friend of mine in LA sent a photo of himself just all wasted and sprawled out on a couch. And so as a bit of a laugh, I just photoshopped on the mouse head on him and sent it back. And he's like, oh, that's funny, you know, because he knew it was my logo and all that stuff. And he's like, yeah, dude, uh, if you ever play live, you have to make something like that and wear it. And I was like, that's cool. I might, you know what I mean? But where does one get that done? So it was just always in the back of my mind, but it never came to fruition until, you know, I had played enough gigs to be able to, you know, kind of commission something like that. It's not an identity thing. It's not a the man behind the mouse kind of thing. It's just a, it's just a bit of fun. I just recently played a show in Niagara Falls and it was the most twisted thing ever because I showed up and there's like all these people like I knew all of them and I knew all their names and but they didn't have a clue, you know, who I was. And I was just like, 
I'm Joel, dude. And they're like, no, you dead mouse. No, 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 no. Big, big old hype about it. And I said, yeah, man, I, I was in your science class with Mr. Corey, you know? And they're like, oh my God, dude. You know, it was just like, it was kind of awkward, but it was kind of funny too. Cause I, it was, it was kind of a family reunion too. So I'm, I wasn't too pleased about that. My family are the loudest people on the earth. My mother's side of the family, it's, they all want to talk at the same time. So in order to achieve them being heard, one has to talk louder than the other and so on and so forth and so on and so forth. So until it reaches like about, you know, 160 decibels of, <laughs> so it's kind of a nightmare, you know, and I, I, I mean, they all mean well, and they're very nice people, but they're just annoying as hell to me sometimes, sometimes. My mom and dad are well pleased. Uh, mom's mom's doing all right. Yeah, she, she's always been proud of me, I know. But uh, now I think she's more relieved that I'm doing okay and I'm not going to, you know, just flop on my ass and then go running back home and be like, I'm going to sit in your basement for another, you know, 10 years and work on some new music. You know, so it's, she's, she's relieved and she's proud. This is who I am with Orange. Dead Mouse.